Plants need CO2 to grow. Industries often emit CO2 as a waste product. One man's problem may be another man's solution. OCAP connects. It means organic CO2 for assimilation or growth in plants. Our unique pipeline system ensures that we connect CO2 providers with CO2 users. Greenhouse horticulturalists need CO2 to let the crops in their greenhouses grow better. Until recently, the horticulturalists generated their own CO2 with a boiler or a combined heat and power installation on natural gas. It provided heat for the greenhouse and CO2 for the plants. In summer, no heat is needed, but the installation is fired just for CO2, an undesirable situation. The greenhouse horticultural sector aims to be fully sustainable by 2040. More and more horticulturalists are taking the sustainable step towards geothermal energy, among other things. This saves a lot of natural gas emissions, but it also means that horticulturalists miss out on their much needed CO2. They can now receive it from OCAP. This is pure CO2, which not only saves natural gas, but also allows horticulturalists to grow their crops even better. Scientific research is the foundation. For example, special software has been developed for and with horticulturalists to enable them to accurately dose and optimise their CO2 consumption. The intelligent horticultural tool is called OCAP Optimal. That means cleaner and tastier tomatoes and nicer flowers. We already supply about 500,000 tonnes of CO2 per year to 600 greenhouse horticulturalists in the west of the Netherlands. And they are already saving more than 140 million cubic metres of natural gas per year. But together with the greenhouse horticulturalists and the trade organisation Glastanbouw Nederland, we are striving to double this environmental and quality step. The OCAP supply pipeline runs from south to North Holland, a 100-kilometre main pipeline and a distribution network of over 250 kilometres, which is constantly expanding. Pure CO2 flows through it. Various greenhouse horticultural areas in Westland, Osland and Zaadplaspolder areas are already connected to it, and their number is growing steadily. Areas that are not along the main pipeline receive their CO2 from OCAP mini-grids. OCAP is preparing a liquid plant in Amsterdam. There, CO2 is liquefied and transported by tank lorry to a mini-grid in the country, to a central filling station where an evaporator reverts the liquid CO2 to gas. From there, it is transported through the pipelines to the greenhouses. The number of sustainable horticulturalists is growing and with it the demand for reusable CO2. That is why OCAP is currently working on new developments, such as the capture of CO2 from waste-to-energy companies. Waste-to-energy plants may be a useful source of what is considered to be green CO2. This will only be possible if we work together with the many parties needed to make this a success, primarily with the waste-to-energy companies and with Glastonbouw Nederland, but also with many others, such as the port authorities, provincial governments and, of course, the national government, which, with its environmental policy and the climate agreement, has the ultimate casting vote. CO2 storage is a key part of the climate agreement. With carbon capture and storage, CCS, CO2 is stored, for example, in empty gas fields under the seabed. This is an active focus area for OCAP. Before our country will permanently put CO2 underground, the choice now arises. Store or reuse for greenhouse horticulture, for example. We advocate reuse taking precedence over storage. OCAP moves between all parties as an innovative connector. Cooperation and joint development is therefore our daily job. Sustainability is a joint effort. Just like butterflies and bees, OCAP can be the link between supply and demand, 
between challenge and solution. We do this by creating intelligent connections in the landscape of nature and technology.